This is the Cuisinart Vertical Waffle Maker. One of the things that people have a problem with when they make waffles is overfilling their waffle maker. And this actually solves that problem for you. You notice up here, this is the spout, and this is where we're gonna pour the waffle batter in. And what happens is the waffle maker will fill from the bottom up to the top, and you'll get a perfect waffle without any spillover. So it's really great, easy, and simple to use. So you'll notice on the front, it's round. It's a Belgian style waffle. Here is your um, control knob and it goes from one all the way to five, and you have two lights, a red light and a green light. The red light means um, that you have power, and when the green light is on, you will actually um, be ready to what we call bake waffles, and you notice it beat three times to let me know that it's ready. Um, I like to do it on setting four, and we have this preheating so that when I go to make the waffles, it's all ready to use. So let me just show you how this works. There's a little, I'm just gonna turn this around so you can see it. There's a little lever right here. You just pinch the lever and that allows you to open the waffle maker and it lays down flat and it makes it really easy for you to remove your waffle when it's baked. And to um, close it, you just close it until it locks into place. So what I'm gonna do is turn this back so we can see it better. And I'm going to actually show you what else comes with your waffle maker. This is your waffle batter cup, and this is really important. This is um, the exact measurement that you need to fill your waffle maker up using the proper amount of batter. The other thing I want to show you is there's a little notch here, so when you're using a batter bowl, you just lay it on the bowl like so, and it keeps it up from, um, uh, from your batter, and also if you have any drips or spills, it'll go right back into your batter bowl. So why don't we get started? I'm just going to pour this in. You should use a steady stream to do it. Fill it up. And then what's going to happen is the um, green light will go off. I'm going to put that back here. And it's going to actually bake. And what will happen is it will actually beep three times to let us know that the waffle is ready to remove from your waffle maker. So let's check our waffle. Ooh, look how beautifully done it is. It's exactly the way I like it. I like it to be um, nice and toasty brown. Now, one thing I just want to mention, you'll notice on the top here, um, you have a little bit extra. This is because the batter went up into the pour spout. If that bothers you at all, all you need to do is cut it away and remove it so that your waffle is um, completely round. If not, you can have a little taste beforehand. Um, I just want to tell you one thing I forgot to mention earlier. The plates are nonstick. Um, make sure you season them before you use it because that's really important. That helps um, so that your waffle comes out really easily. So let's um, make our finish up our waffle dish. We're just going to use some beautiful fresh blueberries. I love blueberries. Nice and tasty. And we're going to put a little bit of fruit. You know, there's so many different kinds of waffles you can make now. You can do um, chicken and waffles. You can um, do savory waffles, chocolate waffles. This is really nice, beautiful, light um, breakfast that you could prepare. It's going to put a little bit of syrup, not too much, but just a little bit. And then we're going to just top it with some mint. Give it some nice freshness. And there you have it, the Cuisinart Vertical Waffle Maker. You get perfect waffles every time.